Well, Percenters, welcome back. Greece, Serbia, full game highlights. It's been a long time. What's up? Let's see how it goes, man. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Giannis. Giannis Brothers. Life, man. Got the kid. He's crying all day. It's hard to get on the computer. Joker looks happy. Who are these people? Lucic? Alright, other than... I don't know any of these guys other than the Giannis brothers. And, uh, Who's that? Celebrity? Joker! The real Joker. Or the other Joker. Oh, that's deep. That kind of looked like Austin Rivers. Okay, so this is his FIBA. This is the rules are slightly different. I believe you can do like three seconds in the paint. That guy's too little. I'm trying to see is is Joker look more uh, light or does he look stronger? Does he look quicker on his feet? So I want to know what he's been up to during the summer. And then Giannis, um, has he worked on a jump shot? We know he can do that. A while back I made an Instagram post of I, I think my top seven. I think my top seven was best players in the league was Giannis number one. Um, you might not like that, but Joker was number two. I think I did Embiid number three, and uh, I think like Curry and Luca um, were up there, and John Morant. <laughs> so to make Giannis <coughs> make Giannis the best player or, or most uh, best player in the NBA, he he'd have to work on a jumper a little bit because he's physically probably the most dominant, speed, strength, all that. What would make Joker the best player? I think um, just a little bit more aggression, to be honest. Um, slightly better shape. He does not need to lose a ton of weight. He needs to get a little bit stronger, a little bit bouncier. Oh, like that. So let's see the jump. He's all. You know, we know we prefer, he prefers jumping off the right. But this, that is a significantly just off, just off of that simple dunk. I can tell that he's uh, got significantly stronger. The speed and ease that he did that jump. I'm still looking for a left hand hook and I'm looking for more um, foot versatility in his jumps. So a little bit stronger than the hips for Joker. Especially when he's posting. Is that him right there? Yeah, so like in the zones and stuff like that, it's hard to kind of know who's in and out. Thirty. Oh my God, who are these dimes? Who's prettier, the girl in the glasses or the girl next to her? I think the glasses. I like the glasses. Who are they? Models, celebrities. Get it up! 
Ατλα Κάλινη τσαπίλησε Γιάρα μας Στο τελευταίο δευτερόλεπτο το σούτ Θα βρίσκεται ο Γιάρα μας Η Ελλάδα Κούντουριτς χαμηλά στον Κάλινη Παρά την προσπάθεια του Παπανικολάου Η Κασελάκης Πέρασε αντί το κούμπο θα δοκιμάσει για τρεις oh. Και μαρκάρει στο μέση okay, so this is what I want to see at Giannis. There's no hitch there. Comes up kind of smooth. I mean, it's not great, but confident stepping in. Position three. A little robotic, so he brings it to position three and then he just jumps from there. He can replicate that shot quite a bit, but it's not very fluid. It looks better though. Even on misses, I want to see his misses. You can tell a lot more about um, how good a person shoots by their misses. Um, when, it, when you train a lot of beginners and, and advanced people, um, you can tell a lot by their misses. Is it way off, You know, wildly inconsistent, or is it just a little bit long, a little bit short, a little bit left, a little bit right? Um, if you're advanced, most of your misses are just going to be long and short. Um, you're not going to get crazy rotation or, or misses left and right. That looks okay from the corner. The corner three is uh, shorter than the top three. Mesa! Oh, that's, that's Greek Junior, Greek Freak Junior. Pass fake, one dribble. They have Yana shooting? Oh my god, his free throw is still ugly. Free throw is literally the one the one shot that you know it's gonna be the same every single time. It's just mental difference. Um, it, it's crazy, but literally, guys, big huge guys, they should literally just start the ball right here, position three, elbow ball right by the chin, like how I shoot, teach a little kid, man. You just go up and flick your wrist. You don't even need to bend your knees, ankles, or anything. And when, when it comes down to like shooting and eliminating variables and stuff like that, I really don't know why more people do it. Well, I do. It's it's because it because of the looks. You're afraid to get shamed or judged or whatever. That's why a lot of players don't shoot underhand. But you don't need rhythm. You don't need anything. Um, yeah. Like this free throw is bad. His, help, his head goes back when he shoots. Like right here, the ball's way too far from his body. Anyway. Dang, Serbia. I met a kid from... Uh... LA Times The Envelope Roundtable is brought to you by the Apple TV Plus Limited Series. I met a kid from Russia, which is crazy. The whole Ukraine thing, I know it's still going on. I don't know much about it. They don't they don't talk about it here in the US anymore. But uh, his parents sent him here um, to flee the war. It's crazy. So he's a 16, 15, 16 year old kid. Um, kind of been taking him under my wing a little bit just because I think it's crazy that uh, wild world, man. Hope you guys are taking care. He, he got sent here because his parents think it's too dangerous. And that's uh, basically what any immigrant to America. My parents obviously came here um, fleeing a war. Crazy, man. These highlights are so different than NBA highlights. Somebody got hurt two times. We know Jokic can pass. <laughs> and if there's no three seconds in uh, FIBA, correct me if I'm wrong, but like Jokic can just like fight in the post, like they're in a little two-three zone, right? He can just fight the whole time. He's fighting a little guard number two. He's way too little. And then if you get driving, you get Giannis has to contain the ball, right? And then Joker's just basically gonna get this rebound if he misses. But the game, oh. Off the right foot. The game, it, basketball is basketball, but what really separates games and, and leagues and stuff like, like that is the rules. Like, you guys have to understand you play the game by the rules. Are the refs calling it tight? 
Um, can you get, grab it off the cylinder? Are three pointers worth three? Um, you know, free throws, how many fouls do you get? How often they call travels? A lot of pickup games here. Um, lately, the younger players, they want to go twos and ones. So if you make a two point field goal, it counts as one, and a three point field goal counts as two. That's like really easy for a good shooting team. Um, the older guys, they like playing all ones because they're, you know, stronger or bigger. Um, the game is completely different. Uh, yeah. Marinkovic. So you might be really, really good in FIBA and awful in the NBA. You might be really, really great at college and suck in the NBA. You know, it's so different, um, even though it's all basketball. Like this. <laughs> this is like in the NBA when they say he needs to lose weight. I think he definitely needs to keep the weight because Joker's best ability is his post ability, how he affects the game from the post. He needs to keep the weight, but he needs to change the, the fat to, to strength because he can just bully pretty much in, anybody in the NBA, maybe um, outside of Joel Embiid down here. So if, if he if if he comes back to the NBA season like super skinny looking, like how um, kind of most players want to get, like that's a big no-no. Mm. Thanasis. Oh, nice little move there. Oh, that's a nice move. Like, in, in all of these highlights, I think this is the first um, the crossover type. Right here, between the legs. Looks like they're still in a high 2-3 zone. Boom, between the legs. Get downhill. Looks like number nine is a shooter, so you get no help off the corner. Block this Joker. Three ball? I mean, I've been working on all kinds of crazy shots. If you guys follow me on Instagram at, at Coach T. Lamb, I've been just playing around with my left hand, but I talk about it a lot, right? The high position three right there. It's like so difficult to guard since it's high, you don't got to jump. Or you don't got to jump much, it's behind your head. I test it, like, I test it literally every time when I get new players to any of my camps or clinics or uh, anybody that does one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, and I shoot the ball from behind my head and I always get the same look, like, the real puzzled look, like, what the hell are you doing? Um, and oddly enough, I'm going to teach my son how to shoot like this. Um, because obviously I want him to be a baller, but I'm going to teach him how to shoot with a high position three for sure. For sure. I might even teach him how to shoot both hands like me. Depends on how much he loves it. But a uh, quick question. Do you guys... My son's literally like out of the womb. I'm trying to put together like an ultimate, I don't know, blueprint for how to train a basketball player for dads and moms, I guess. But if you got a little son um, or even daughter and you want me to kind of I don't know I guess I'll write it out but um, I'm putting it together a blueprint I don't think he's gonna be seven feet tall but uh, hopefully he's at least six feet tall because I know players are getting better and better at a young age what are the stakes of this game? This is just a FIBA oh, qualifier. That's a pretty looking jump shot. Who is that guy? Why are they show me a foul? Great defense. Who's 33? Oh my god! That's a flop. Do they call flops? 
That guy has a high position 3-2 above the forehead. Did it, uh, side note, did it, uh, Jovic, that, that guy get drafted to the Thunder and then Chet Holmgren got injured? Man, that kid is fantasy. That kid's probably going to go nuts. So he's going to get a lot of play time. Jovic. If you play FIBA and you're, and you're in a zone, you have a, a great playmaker in the middle. You sleep and say goodbye to the dentist. It's pretty easy. In, in terms of like FIBA, the athleticism, you don't need to be as athletic as in the NBA. Um, you definitely have to be more fundamentally sound in, in terms of like skill. So passing out of the post, post entries, catch and shoots, cuts, moving off the ball. So if you're, if you're a big, you have a much longer career in FIBA. So like suckers like uh, DeAndre Jordan, Dwight Howard, if they ever learned how to play basketball, they could play. Um, is Marcus all still around? I bet he probably plays in Spain. Um, who was big, tall, and skilled? Obviously, Pau Gasol. Ooh. Between the leg misdirection. This, this is probably like new age, new age Serbian player. Between the leg misdirection. That, that's a little bit more NBA. Probably doesn't matter because that was the end of the shot clock. Coach probably get mad if he did that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Go look at my go look at my Instagram, man. I'd be I'd be doing crazy shots like this. I don't shoot it from above my head, but right, this is a little sambor spin. I said this thing is like basically unguardable. Um and a lot of kids who I train. These things look normal to them because they see me doing them on water breaks and stuff like that. So I got a lot of kids testing out hook shots, one-legged shots, one-legged threes, Euro threes. Ooh. Ooh, Mesa to overtime. Mm. So in the end, um, no matter how great your centers are, the game always gets pushed out to the perimeter when, when a game gets close. So guys like Kobe, Dwayne Wade, LeBron, um, well not LeBron, Luka, down the clutch, it's just you just need a clutch perimeter guy because a lot of uh, physicality, ah! you know, they let go Dime down the end. The rules are different, literally. If you're below the free throw line, the physicality can go up by like tenfold. But if you're above the free throw line and you know you touch a guy, you know, those aren't fouls, but I mean you touch a guy above the free throw line, it's a foul, you could bang the shit out of him when it's below the free throw line. So like right, right here, Joker's right at the top, even against Giannis. I mean who the hell is this guy taking that shot? And then right here you got Joker at the top and then uh, whoever another post player down there like this post entry it's like you got a seven footer looking above the guards Oh my god, you dumped that Giannis is so freaky. One dribble, Eurostep pass Joker. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my goodness. For that stupid reason right there, it's just that's why Giannis is the best. He, don't get me wrong, he doesn't have more skill than Joker or than a lot of guys in the league, but he's his aggression and his physical dominance right now is it's just too much. 
Πήγε και ο Καλάφη να Once you get that body, it's super hard to guard. This is why I want Joker to keep the weight, but muscle weight. Get that body on him. How's Giannis gonna jump? Right? Like, you don't blame Giannis on this. Like, you gotta do something. <coughs> Choking on a free throw. Yep. Like this. Oh I mean, I know it's a FIBA World Qualifier, but you've seen enough of Joker. You, you know that he's going to come back to this hook. You cannot let this dude shoot this right foot little hook. Like, you cannot do it. Like, yes. All the, all the three-point shooters are open, yes. I know. I'd rather live with any of those guys shooting a three than Joker shooting this little hook. Because if he misses, most likely he's going to get his own rebound. But... I don't know. That's why he's so good. You know he's going to do it. Can you stop it? They call a foul? No, they did. Oh, he missed on purpose or missed it? Maybe he just missed it. There are four. It's crazy. One on one, Giannis might be the best player. Um, and in terms of impact, obviously, I think Joker's better just overall. But NBA and FIBA, way, way different. Uh, don't take too much out of this game other than FIBA. Joker looks a little bit more athletic off of that one dunk. I hope he's not losing too much weight. I want him to keep it on. I hope Giannis keeps working on that jumper. But I hope Giannis doesn't shoot that many. Okay, you build it up um, while you still have all your athleticism. And then when you transition your game over, um, you'll be ready, but he should definitely not be shooting more than uh, two or three threes a game. All right, guys, good to see you again. Um, until next time, take 14 minutes, 24 seconds, or 1% of your day to get better. Peace.